Here's what you need to know for the next 24 hours. You're going to want to get that umbrella out as early as tomorrow for the North Island through the capital region. We're looking at fog developing overnight once again tomorrow, though, by the afternoon, hoping to see some sunny breaks with a high of around 15 degrees. Not quite the record level. That was 23 set in 1991. Here's a look at your temperatures right now with your live school net weather sensors and at Vancouver Island University in Nanaimo, 10 and a half degrees right now. And we'll head to St. Patrick's Elementary in the Victoria area at 11 degrees. So it is a lot cooler this evening. Taking a look at your satellite picture, here is the storm that's coming our way. It's not really a, a really bad storm. It's just the first system of the season really to transition us from summer into fall. And you can see that it is likely going to hit the north end of the island first. So that's where you could expect to see some rain as early as tomorrow. Overnight tonight, we're looking at some fog and cloud developing up around Port Hardy. Seven degrees is your forecast low. Increasing clouds after midnight along the east coast of the island, again with fog patches before morning. Through the Alberti Valley, lows to five degrees. Fog and cloud for you early in the morning hours. And then for Tofino, eight degrees overnight tonight. Fairly socked in along the west coast as you have been for most of the day with drizzle. So much of the same overnight tonight. For the capital region, we'll notice that fog blanketing our area as morning approaches. Likely after midnight, we'll see those patches developing. Hopefully by tomorrow afternoon we'll get a bit of a break. 15 degrees through Victoria tomorrow afternoon. Sort of like what we saw today. It took till about 3 o'clock before we saw a bit of a sunny break. Salt Spring Island 13 degrees for you. 16 through the Duncan area and partly cloudy skies later on in Lake Cowichan. Once again after that fog lifts and we get that lower cloud moving on up. 14 degrees through Nanaimo tomorrow. Slightly milder at 15 in Parksville Qualicum. And if you're on the west coast you'll uh, see a lot of fog tomorrow. Drizzle like as well. 13 degrees to Fino, you cool it through Bamfield. Port Alberni, it'll take a little while for that fog and cloud to lift, but you should see 15 degrees and hopefully a bit of a break throughout the day. 14 on the way for Courtney Comox Campbell River with a mix of sun and clouds late afternoon. If you're around Port Hardy, you probably will see some rain. There's a good chance of showers. 12 degrees is your forecast high. Gold River, likely the rain will start later in the afternoon and early evening for you. The rest of BC for tomorrow, we've got some showers through Prince. Rupert along the coast more in the way of cloudy skies 21 and sunshine in Kamloops. So over the next seven days here's what you need to know there is a lot of rain coming our way compared to what we've seen in the last two months which is pretty much nothing. Uh, roads are going to be slick so be aware of that with the first rainfall of the season we get all those oils from the roads moving on up and that'll create some slick driving conditions for the north end of the island again you could see that rain as early as tomorrow and you will see up to 20 minutes millimeters of rain on Saturday. So a bit of a soggy weekend on the way. The first real system of fall, but it's a perfect opportunity to stay indoors, get a book, make some soup. It's one of those fall weekends that you can do that. Weed and feed your lawn, do all that stuff. That too. Put your patio furniture away. Watch your neighbors do that because yeah. you're not going out in the rain. Yeah. Oh wait, that's just me. Yeah, I think folks are ready. <laughs> I think we're ready. I think we are. All right. Aspen, thank you. You're welcome.